Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the complex analysis. Today I will explain you the concept of the maximum modulo principle. Myself Dr. Harish Kirk. You can follow and subscribe my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the complex analysis. In this playlist you can see the various theory lectures as well as the PY question series with the help of the shortcut tricks explained in this playlist. You can follow it and watch it deeply. Now, what is the objective of this today's lecture? A simple objective is if you have the complex valued function f of z, can, can you find the maximum value of these functions? Or you can say, can you find the absolute maximum value of these functions? Or can you find the minimum value of the mode of fz? For example, if I consider the f of z is my polynomial, if you consider the f of z is my cosine, exponential or any r there, can you find the maximum value of its modulus? Similarly, can you find the minimum value of its modulus or not? If your target, if your answer is yes, then the question arises is how we can find the maximum value or the minimum value of this absolute value of the fz. Make sure students, whenever you want to apply the maximum modulo principle or the minimum modulo principle, you have to check about its domain firstly. Fine. Always remember, if your domain is my bounded, then you can apply the maximum modulo principle. In this example, you can see my domain is the unit disk, is a bounded. In this case, the real component is my bounded. Imaginary component is my bounded, so the domain is my bounded. And in this again case, it's a closed unit disk. Yes, it is a bounded. So in that case, you can apply the maximum modulo principle and the very beautiful property of this maximum modulo principle is whenever you want to find the maximum value of the absolute value of the z over the domain complete d which is nothing but maximum value of the absolute value of the z only all those points which are on the boundary of this closed curve that means there is no need to check at the inside point maximum always occurring on the boundary of the curve. Similarly, the minimum modulo principle suggested you instead of the maximum, the minimum value is also occurring only on the boundary of the curve. But make sure the f of z, the function should be non-constant analytic function. f must be the analytic functions, then you can say the maximum value is occurring maximum or the minimum. Both values occurring only at the boundary and not inside the interior. And that's the major motivation of this fact. Now, let's discuss the main concept. What is the main result of the maximum modulo principle? If you have the domain, f is my analytic. Say this is my domain. Fine. Z0 is the any point which is lies inside the domain such that the function value of the f0 is greater than or equal to the other values. What does it mean? z0 is my maximum value or is the maximum point but it lies inside the domain then the function is my constant fine you can see as i mentioned you whenever you consider the non-constant function maximum value is only occurring at the boundary but if you consider as a maximum value occurring inside the point inside the domain then the function is always constant the proof is a very very simple let us consider the domain D, which is a bounded. Z0 is my any point inside this domain. I construct a one circle. I construct a one circle whose radius is my R, such that Z minus Z0 is less than R. Fine. Now I consider this curve is my gamma. So can you write this curve in the parametric form? From this case, you can easily say, the value of the z is z0 plus r e raised to power iota t. Fine. Now, since the function is analytic, function is analytic, so we can apply the Cauchy integral formula. I can apply the Cauchy integral formula about the point z0. I can substitute the value of the z. On this curve, the value of the z is z0 plus r e raised to power iota t. So, I can substitute over the curve f z0 plus r e raised to power iota t. What is the z minus z0? r e raised to power iota t. k 
कैन यू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द डी जेड दिस इज जीरो आयोटा आर ई रेस टू पावर आयोटा टी सो आई कैन सब्सटीट्यूट हेयर आर ई रेस टू पावर आयोटा टी फाइन नाउ सिंस द टी इज रेंज फ्रॉम द जीरो टू टू पाई सो माई इंटीग्रेशन रेंज इज जीरो टू टू पाई आयोटा विल बी कैंसल आउट आर ई रेस टू पावर आयोटा विल बी कैंसल आउट इट इज वन ओवर टू पाई ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन नाउ माई टारगेट इज टू टेक द एब्सोट वैल्यू नाउ आई कैन स्टार्ट विद द एब्सोट वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन वी ऑल नॉस एब्सोट वैल्यू ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन इज ऑलवेज लेस देन ऑफ द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द एब्सोट वैल्यू आई कैन यूज दिस इन इक्वालिटी मोर ओवर मोर ओवर वी ऑल नॉस द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रेशन इज ऑलवेज बी लेस देन ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट फाइन सो बिकॉज वाई बिकॉज इट इज गिवन टू यू वट इज अ जेड इन दिस केस यू कैन सी जेड इज माई जेड जीरो प्लस आर ई रेस टू पावर आयोटा टी सो बाई यूजिंग दिस गिवन कंडीशन आई कैन राइट दिस वैल्यू इज लेस देन ऑफ नाउ माई इंटीग्रेशन इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टी दिस पार्ट इज माई कॉन्स्टेंट एफ ऑफ जेड जीरो इज माई आउटसाइड मॉडल वैल्यू ऑफ द एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट आउटसाइड सो इंटीग्रेशन इज माई टू पाई दिस वैल्यू विल बी कैंसल इट इज माई एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट नाउ क्लियरली से द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज माई एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट विच इज लेस देन इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू पाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ मॉडल वैल्यू विच इज लेस देन ऑफ वन ओवर टू पाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट एंड विच इज अगेन लेस देन ऑफ द एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट नाउ यू कैन सी वेन एवर लेफ्ट एंड इन इक्वालिटी एंड द राइट इन इक्वालिटी आर सेम दैट मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ दीज टू इंटीग्रल्स आर ऑल्सो सेम फाइन और यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस विल बी जीरो अगेन द फंक्शन इज माई एनालिटिक एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द एफ ऑफ जेड नॉट इज ग्रेटर देन ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द जेड फॉर ऑल दोज वैल्यूज ऑफ द जेड इट इज गिवन टू यू सो वट डज इट इम्प्लाइज वी ऑल नोज वेन एवर द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द एफ इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एफ इज माई ग्रेटर देन जीरो दिस ऑलवेज इम्प्लाइज एफ इज माई जीरो देर फोर योर दिस इंटीग्रेशन कॉम्पोनेट इज माई जीरो वंस यू कैन से दिस वैल्यू इज माई जीरो वट डज इट मीन्स दैट मीन्स मोड ऑफ जेड इज माई कॉन्स्टेंट फंक्शन बिकॉज इट इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फोर ओल टी एंड वी ऑल नोस इट इज गिवन दैट एफ इज माई एनालिटिक फंक्शन एंड मोड ऑफ जेड इज माई कॉन्स्टेंट वट डज इट इम्प्लाइज इट इम्प्लाइज मोड ऑफ एफ इट इम्प्लाइज एफ इज ऑल्सो कॉन्स्टेंट Fine by using the properties of the analytic functions, and this implies you can apply the identity theorem. So by using the identity theorem, f is a constant over the complete domain, and that's a simple proof of the maximum modulo principle. Similarly, similarly we can discuss about the minimum modulo principle. Again, the same meaning. If you have the closed domain, if the if my domain is closed, then the minimum value of the fz over the complete domain which is nothing but maximum value of the absolute value whenever z lies on the domain of the curve so the domain i have taken is only on this blue color that means again whenever the function is a non constant entire function remember f is my non constant Entire function or analytic functions, then the minimum value is always occurring at the boundary points. On the other hand, if the minimum value, if your minimum value occurring inside the point, then the function will be my constant, and that's again the similar proof. If f is my uh, f is the analytic functions, then there exists a point z zero which is lies inside the domain. Which is lies inside the domain such that the function value at the z naught is less than equal to the function values of the remaining point. Then clearly say z zero is my minimum point, but it lies inside it. Function is my analytic. The function is either the constant or the function value at the particular point is zero. The proof is a very simple. How you can prove that? I can apply. the maximum modulo principle in other words 
if m is the minimum value of the mode of fz inside and on the domain d then unless the function is constant mode of fz is greater than m otherwise the function is my constant proof is a very very simple i can apply the maximum modulo principle on the 1 over fz this is the hint i have given to you so let's start with this proof what is given to you f is my analytic functions which is inside and the on the domain and the function is non zero inside so once the function is non zero what does it means 1 over fz is also analytic functions fine 1 over fz is also analytic functions now once the function is analytic inside the d that means by using the maximum modulo principle 1 over fz cannot reach its maximum value inside the point d because if it reaches the maximum value inside the point d then the function value is my constant so what is the meaning of that if by the maximum modulo principle this 1 over fz cannot reach the minimum maximum value what does it means f of z cannot 1 over fz it means it can't reach the minimum value inside the point d so that means f of z cannot attain its minimum value inside the point d once the f of z cannot attain the minimum value function is my analytic f is my analytic this implies the function is continuous within and on the domain this implies mode of fz must attain the minimum value at some point fine remember at the some point but as we have shown it cannot attain the minimum value inside the point that means the max minimum value is only attained at the boundary point that means minimum of the fz over the complete domain is nothing but my minimum value only on the boundary of the domain and that's a simple proof of the minimum and maximum modulo principle always remember your domain always remember the domain must be bounded for the maximum and minimum modulo principle and if f is my non constant entire function or non constant analytic functions if f is my non constant analytic functions then the value of the minimum and the maximum only occurring on the boundary on the other hand if f is my analytic functions and the maximum or the minimum is occurring at some point which lies in the domain then you can say the function is always constant and the function value is my zero is the point this is a simple maximum modulo principle for more details for more examples i will explain you the various 10 plus examples in our next lecture till then you can share this video with your friends and like and comment on this video i hope you subscribe my youtube channel as well thanks for the watching best of luck students